Let's take a look at the drill tools in Modeler. I'm going to start by just creating a, a quick ball. Okay. And in the background layer, I'm going to create a flat disk. Okay. Doesn't matter which way it's facing, so I'll just go ahead and flip it so we can see it here. Uh, Q for change surface, and I'll call this cutter. And give it a color just so different to what we have here just so that we can see it. Okay, so the drill tools. Let's hop over to the construct tab and if I put the ball in the foreground and this flat disk in the background, solid drill and drill become active. Now, in reality, drill should become active and solid drill shouldn't but we'll, we'll talk about that so let's start off with drill the way drill works it's it's very simple if you're uh, familiar with a boolean then the drill will make a little more sense uh, and, and vice versa so let's go ahead and start with drill I do have in order for drill and solid drill to work we need to have an object in the foreground and an object in the background I'm gonna select drill and we'll take a look so we have the first um, option that we have to set is axis. This is extremely important if you're working with the drill tool. You need to tell it what axis to work with. The way drill works is it looks at the shape and then depending on the axis that you choose, it's going to create an imaginary version of extruding this. So, and it'll extrude on forever. I think of it as like a laser beam. You fire a laser down a certain axis and it will keep going and keep going, keep going. Kind of like Real Genius. Remember that movie where they shot the laser and it went through the statue and all the way over to the pub where they got to get drunk? But that's another story. So, I'm going to um, uh, base it off of this. So, if we see the, if we wanted to extrude this disc, well, looking down the Z axis, well we'd want to extrude down the Z. So I'm going to choose Z. So what it's going to do is it's going to look at the, the disk here and extrude all the way through. And, and if we had 30 spheres, it would go through all of those if they were all lined up. Okay, let's go ahead and use Core as the, uh, because it's the default setting, we'll start here and hit Core. And what it does is, it, it's kind of like a Boolean intersect. Wherever this disk remember it's kind of like being extruded what, whatever it intersects with it's gonna leave that behind but then get rid of everything else okay so let me undo go over to drill and we'll go over to tunnel now tunnel is gonna be a lot more like subtract boolean subtract let's let's take a look so we'll hit OK so it punches a hole through the object now notice it's not leaving any geometry. It didn't create any new geometry on the inside. It just punches a hole right through. Okay, so if you wanted geometry left behind, you'd want to use a, a boolean for that. Okay, so well, why would we want that? Let me undo. I'm going to go to a new layer and I'm going to draw a flat plane. And then in the background layer, I'm going to draw a couple disks. Let me swap layers okay and it doesn't matter where those templates are because remember it's going to be like a laser it's going to go infinite so i'm going to go over to construct drill and we need to pick the y axis because it's running through the y okay see how i'm able to cut a flat plane try that with a boolean it it actually won't work what'll happen is is that you'll end up with all this junk geometry that you have to to work with and then all that's left for me to do with this is extrude it. Okay, so if you wanted to, if you were creating your own 3D text and you needed to cut holes for, say, the hole in the O or the A, you might want to use drill to get that hole in there. Okay, let's go back to, to this setup and let's go back over to construct, drill, stencil. Now with stencil, you have the option to uh, come over to the surface and pick a different um, pick a different surface to work with. So I'm going to pick uh, cutter, and I, I just hit OK, but nothing happened. Okay, the reason nothing happened was we chose Y, which is going in this direction, when we should have chose Z going in this direction. So let's do it again. 
So with if you ever use um, drill and you're you're like man nothing happened something's not working right make sure that your axis is correct okay and there we go so not only does it slice in see the new edges it slices into the geometry but it gives a surface a new surface name on the polys that fit within let me line this up as much as I can right there see it slices through now the thing to know is it went all the way through okay so if I didn't want that to happen let me undo remember in Lightwave if nothing is selected everything is selected so I'm just gonna grab these polys then I'm going to do the same operation and notice it didn't get back here but it got here that's because I selected the faces over here so it only affected those okay let me undo and let's take a look at the last one construct drill slice now with slice I don't get a surface uh, option but let's see what happens okay so slice does the exact same thing that stencil does except stencil sprays on let's think of like a stencil and spray paint sprays on a new color well slice doesn't now you don't unlike um, unlike working with boolean you don't have to do a merge there is no need for merging after this op uh, any of the operations with drill but what I can do is grab these faces and we can come over to where well, we can hit E for extender plus T for move and we've now raised that off of the surface okay so you could stencil on letters and then raise them up off of the surface and they'll conform to the shape because it's right off of the surface okay I'm just undoing Okay, so that's a quick look at the, uh, the drill tool. Remember that the difference between stencil and slice, um, they perform the same operation, but stencil adds the, the new surface name. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is extrude my cutter, <coughs> excuse me, and put that in the background. And now I'm going to perform the, the same operations, but now I'm going to use solid drill. So construct, solid drill. Notice there is no X, Y, and Z. We're telling it where we want to cut based on where the intersection is taking place. So core. Notice there's not one back here because we weren't pushed in far enough to do it. So we get the exact same result, but just we didn't have to select geometry to say just limit it here. We're limiting it by the thickness of our cutter so I'll come back over to solid drill and do tunnel okay again pokes a hole right through there but not in the back because we're not deep enough in order to to do that so I'll undo we'll go over to solid drill stencil remember we get to pick a surface with stencil not with slice but with stencil so cutter okay and we've got um, we've got it here but we don't have it on the back and let me undo come over to solid drill slice and we slice into the geometry but we don't leave a new surface name behind okay so that's a quick look at using stints uh, we're using drill and solid drill both are drill tools remember that drill works on flat shapes uh, as your cutter and solid drill works on three-dimensional shapes with your cutter and they both perform the same operations and the only other thing just as another reminder is that if you use drill make sure you pick the right axis or you're not gonna get well you you might not see anything happen which is usually the case if you pick the wrong axis or you might just get undesirable results so pick the right axis with drill and make sure you have a three-dimensional object with solid drill and you'll be set